this video is going to explain how to do a better jump than one of the previous videos I've done. So this vid this jump is going to more or less resemble a Mario jump where you can move while you're in the air and a gravity pulls you down. So what you've got to do before you um before you start this is you've got to understand you've got to understand the position of your character all the time and in this case we just need to know its Y position and how fast the the cat's going. So when the carrot the cat's not doing anything, we want him to have a speed or a velocity of zero. So what we have to do is we have to make two variables. The first variable we make is velocity. And because this only occurs to this cat, I'm going to put it to this sprite only. So okay. To make a realistic jump, you need to always pull the cat downwards. Like in real life, we're always being pulled downwards by gravity. So we need to make another variable called gravity. Oh, can't spell it right. Or you could just put grab actually. Okay. And that's going to be for every single sprite because every single thing in the world is affected by gravity. So, what we need to do now is tell this cat to always be pulled down and change its speed. Right now, its speed zero by gravity. So, if we go when we start the game forever, we're going to set the gravity at the very start of the game to a minus number. So, where uh, minus 0.5 and we are going to set the cat's velocity so set velocity to zero so this cat has zero velocity at the minute so forever you are going to set velocity to you need to go to operators the cat's current velocity plus gravity Oops. so when we start the game we have set now gravity to minus 5 you can see and this sprite's going to keep gaining velocity but why is the cat not moving why when we're saying set his velocity to be um, pulled down by gravity why is it not moving because we haven't actually said to scratch yet to change this uh, cat's actual position and you do that by doing this you go to motion and you go to set the y of this character to its current y position oh, oh sorry plus its current y position plus its new velocity and this will run around like this all the time so the second the game starts you know, it's, its velocity is zero so set velocity to zero plus grab which will be minus five and then it'll set that y position to minus five and then it'll go round it again set velocity to well it's already minus five so it's going to be minus five plus grab which is one and it's going to keep doing that so it's going to pull this cat downwards on the negative so let's just start the game stop the game start the game and there you go you can see it's just pulled the cat through the floor because it's forever setting its y to this little um we say I'll now code here this procedure I guess so forever set velocity to minus 5 and keep going around until obviously that cat goes off the screen so where do we stop it from falling through the floor well what we need to do is we need to say if you're touching the brown floor just don't do anything so if I look in control we want this if else here. So forever, if you're going to touch the brain floor, so if touching colour, if this cat is touching that colour, do nothing. Otherwise, you're not touching that colour, we want to pull you downwards. And if you are touching brown, stop, just do nothing. So if we link all that into there, if you press stop and start, you'll see he pulls him down, he hits brown and he stops and you can see if I keep pulling him up his velocity keeps increasing he's getting faster and faster and faster and faster he's pulling him so fast it's actually pulling him through the floor so let's stop that so 
we now need to code a jump so we're going to press the space key so control if you press the space key what we need to do is to change its velocity to something we need to change its velocity to the positive because if you look at the code now its velocity is minus six we've been pulled downward so we need to if you are actually touching the ground floor so if you are we can duplicate this little bit here if you are touching the brown floor change your velocity or set your velocity to let's say 10 yeah so I'll push him upwards but what's going to happen is the second he's not like um, touching brown if you get me so the second he's not touching brown it's going to run into this and it's going to pull him down again so it's going to go set it to 10 here which is then going to be minus 5 minus um, 9.5 9 8, 8, 8. it's going to keep going down until it gets to 0 and then it's going to start pulling him back down again so let's see if that's true so we need to set his y so motion set y to its current velocity which is 8 So set its y to its current position, which is y. Sorry. And then plus this velocity. Because when we press space, we're going to set its velocity to 10. So we need to set its new velocity to 10. And hopefully, if I've not done anything wrong, I think that's the logic behind it all. Never done this. I'm doing it off the top of my head, by the way. So if I press space, there you go. Can you see it's setting its velocity to 10, but as I press the actual button, it runs into here. And because it's not touching brown anymore, it's taking minus 5 off it every single tick of this game. So it's then getting back to 0 and dragging it back down. And there you go. So how do we make the cat move left and right? I always do this in a little bit of stuff for code me like this. So I always go that forever. If you press the right arrow uh, change its x by 10 right click duplicate if you press the left arrow change it by minus 10 so stop the game, start the game if I move left and right now there you go, left and right I press press jumps at the same time I can move him like in Mario now. So and on this one if you look I'm I'm batting space but he's not jumping anymore because he's not touching brown. Unless you are actually touching brown, you are not allowed to jump again. So there you go, he's not touching so you can't do now because he's touching brown. So you're allowed to set your velocity to ten. It runs into there to pull him back down with gravity. So if you get that little bit of code, that's how you code a realistic jump animation in the simplest amount of code I can think of at the minute but if I do if I do think of something to get it down to even simpler steps then I'll make sure I repost this video or take it down and add another one just so that you can see the maths behind it so this is a dead quick recap to create a realistic jump you need to know the speed of your cat at all times create a variable called velocity you need to forever pull the cat down with gravity so I made this variable here you need to then set the cat's y position to be affected by gravity so I set the velocity to its current velocity which is zero but plus the gravity to start the minus trend and then set the y position of this cat in other words its y position there to be whatever y position it's at now in our case um, minus 51 but plus velocity and that is going to increase every tick so it gets faster and faster and faster if you look it falls faster and faster and faster because it keeps increasing look you can actually see the value here is falling at 36 um, I don't know what it's measured in but pixels per tick if you like so it's literally in the end you're not even going to see him drop he's just going to literally 
be there and then be there dead quick because it keeps increasing. You could put some code in to get when it does it the ground floor set its velocity to zero. Right click duplicate, set velocity to zero, so that when I do pull him up, he falls at same speed every single time because we're resetting his velocity to zero. And that's how you code a simple jump.